It's Monday. Yeah, it is. Let's see what song we're going to play. Let's do slow and steady. Come on in here. enough of that. I'm I'm wanting to talk and the singing is getting in the way. Well, we had a great celebration this week and I didn't go to it, but Miss Beckett, Patty's, Patty's grandchild that was born a year ago, she turned one years old, one year old. And That baby had a lot of prayers on her life when she was born, weighing a a little over a pound, just a little over a pound. So now she's crawling. She'll be walking before we know it. This girl is on fire, I'm telling you. So happy birthday to Miss Beckett. And, you know, we just, we have so much to be thankful for. Well, let's... uh, Let's go to the book of Psalms, Psalms 105. I am reading from the Passion Translation. 
<clears throat> you know, when a Psalms is real long, I, I, I fight with reading it. And I'm just rebuking the demons right now. That's what I'm rebu rebuking. The ones that are trying to keep me. I mean, I got this one demon that every time I start praying, I start yawning. And I, I got to work on that one. I got to work on getting that one out because I have to apologize to God when I start yawning because I'm not sleepy. I'm a night owl. Y'all know that. Okay. 105, God's wonderful works. Go ahead and give God thanks for all the glorious things he has done. Go ahead and worship him. Tell everyone about his wonders. Let's sing his praises. Sing and put all of his miracles to music. Wow. Let's be happy and keep rejoicing no matter what. Because when you're praising, when you're praising the Lord, this is from, from me, demons can't come at you. They stay, they want to be far away. Oh, I like this. Let's sing his praises. Sing and put all his miracles to music. I had to sing. I had to uh, say that again. Shine and make a joyful boast in him. You lovers of God. Shine. We like to shine our sinks, don't we? Let's be happy and keep rejoicing no matter what. Seek more of his strength. Seek more of him. I think we just have to be hungry in the Lord, y'all. We just have, I mean, I get up on mon Monday mornings and can't wait to hear Dutch sheets. I wake up bright and early. I went to bed at one o'clock. I got up at 830 and I was, I was ra raring to go, but I wouldn't do anything. And I had a song on my heart. I had to write down the name. Uh, the song on my heart was Trust and Obey. And Dutch was just amazing this morning. Just a beautiful devotion. And it's just 15 minutes. Don't we just teach that? Just 15 minutes. You can do anything for 15 minutes. Even a devotional to the Lord. Seek more of his strength. Seek more of him. Let always be seeking the light of his face. Don't you ever forget his miracles and marvels. Hold to your heart every judgment he has decreed. For you are, are his servants, the true seed of Adam. You are the chosen ones, Jacob's sons. For he is the Lord our God and his what? And his wise authority can be seen in all he does. For though a thousand generations may pass away, he is still true to his word. He has kept every promise he, he made to Abraham and to Isaac. His promises have become an everlasting covenant to Jacob. As a decree to Jacob, he said to them, I will give you all the land of Canaan, Canaan as your inheritance. They were, were very few in number. Then God gave them that promise. They were all foreigners to that land. They were wandering from one land to another and from one kingdom to another. Yet God would not permit anyone to touch them punishing even kings who came up against them. And he said unto them, Don't you dare lay a hand on my anointed ones and don't do a thing to hurt my prophets. So God declared a famine upon Canaan land, cutting off their food supply. But he had already sent a man ahead of his people to Egypt. It was Joseph who was sold as a slave. His feet were bruised by strong shackles and his soul was held by iron. God's promise to Joseph purged God's promise to Joseph 
purged his character into until it was time for his dreams to come true. Eventually, the king of Egypt sent for him, setting him free at last. Then Joseph was in charge of everything under the king. He became the master of the palace over all the royal possessions. Pharaoh gave him authority over all the princes of the land, and Joseph became the teacher of the wisdom to the king's advisors. Then Jacob, with all of Joseph's family, came from Canaan to Egypt and settled in Goshen. God made them very fruitful, and they multiplied incredibly until they were greater in number than those who ruled them. God turned their hearts to hate for his people and to deal treacherously with his servants. But he sent them his faithful servant Moses, the deliverer, and chose Aaron to accompany him. Their command brought down signs and wonders, working miracles in Egypt. By God's direction, they spoke and released a plague of thick darkness over the land. God turned their rivers to blood, causing every fish to die. And the judgment plague of frogs came in erroneous, enormous numbers, swarming everywhere, even unto Pharaoh's bedroom. God spoke and another plague was released. Massive swarms of flies, vast clouds of insects covered the land. God rained down hail and flaming fire upon Egypt. Their gardens and vines were all destroyed, shattering trees into splinters throughout the territory. God spoke and the devouring hordes of locusts swept over the land, picking the ground clean of vegetation and crops. Then God struck down their firstborn sons, the pride and joy of every Egyptian family. At last, God freed all the Hebrews from their slavery and sent them away laden with silver and gold of Egypt. And not even one, not even one was feeble on their way out. Egypt was relieved by their exodus, ready to see them go. For the terror of the Lord of the Hebrews had fallen upon them, and God spread like a crowd, cloud as shade as they moved ahead, and the cloud of fire to light up their night. Moses prayed and God brought them quail to eat. He satisfied them with the heaven's bread falling from the sky. He broke open the boulder and the waters poured out like a river in the desert. For God could never forget his holy promise to his servant Abraham. So God brought out his chosen ones with singing. With a joyful shout, they were set free. He gave them lands and nations, just like he promised. Fruitful lands of crops they had never planted were now theirs. All this was done for them so that they would be faithful to keep the, to keep the ways of God, obeying his laws, following his truths. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And that's from the book of Psalms, number 105. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much, Lord, for all that you do for my fly babies. Thank you for the love that you show them. Thank you for sending them to us so that we could help guide them. Thank you, Lord for their love and 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 for the love for their family. Thank you, Father, for everything you do 
for my family and everything you do for the people in Russia and in Ukraine and in Taiwan and South Korea and China. We know the church is growing in these areas, Lord. Please keep the Christians safe and help them to bring others to Christ. Thank you, Lord, for all, all that you do because it helps us. Thank you for being there. Thank you for listening to our tears. Thank you for listening to our cries. Thank you for our our shouts of laughter and praise. Thank you for giving us a voice. And thank you for being our shepherd so that we know your voice when you urge it on us. When you give us a word, when you tell us something, thank you for letting us recognize your voice. Be with all my fly babies, Lord. As we start getting ready for dinner, or some of them are getting ready to go to sleep, help them to do their routines so that they don't put great pressure on themselves. Baby steps really do work. All these things we ask in your son's holy name, and thank you for sending him to die for us on the cross. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, it's, it's, don't listen to TV. Just turn it off. It's too sad. Don't listen to it. I told you I was going to tell you a story. (laughs) Many years ago, and you know, Sacramento has been in the, in the news since yesterday morning. Many years ago, I got interviewed by a, a lady who was a reporter for the Sacramento Bee. I don't remember her name. I could probably find it. Uh, Yes, I was in Psalms 105, reading from the Passion Translation. But this reporter, she, I was, I was talking to her um, and and telling her that um, autopilot, she said, I hear that you say that you clean your house on autopilot. She said, I don't believe that. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I said, what do you mean? I get up in the morning. My feet hit the floor. I make my bed. I go to the bathroom. I get dressed to lace up shoes. And I, while I'm in there, I swish and swipe. I grab a load of laundry because I'm I'm dressed, ready to go. I take... Um, I I put away a load of laundry. I I have to come upstairs with it. And I go to the kitchen, unload the dishwasher. I get things done. And and she said, hold it just a second. I've been making my bed for 30-something years. I said, see, you understand that making your bed becomes a habit. You don't even realize you're doing it. This is what we do. We establish a habit. And it becomes so automatic that we can't not do it. I know that's not grammatical, grammatically correct, but two negatives make a positive. So you have to do it. You can't even stop yourself from doing it. You just do it and you do it without thinking. It's when we stop and think that our brains get us in trouble. So I made a believer out of her. I really, I think I also had to tell, ask her, I asked her if her desk was clean and it wasn't and she had to call me back. (laughs) Yeah, I'm bad to do that. So if y'all would tell me who the spammer is, I can take care of that person. Anyway, that's what happens. When you call the fly lady a liar, I don't take to it very kindly. And I should be praying for those people. But if we got a spammer in here, I'll take care of them. And we'll bless them at the same time. But we 
will uh, not allow them to be in here. So there, there you go. You know, if we have a couple of men that come to our, we, we have a couple of people that come to our show and a couple of guys and we got Robert from Baltimore and we got TG from Oregon. We don't have many men show up for the show. And uh, that's okay. That's just fine. But y'all, what's for dinner? I got dinner in the crock pot. I am cooking uh, uh, an Italian pasta sauce. Uh, it might not be good enough for dinner tonight. It may need to sit overnight and then get heated up again. And it is, um, it's amazing smelling anyway. And my, my, you ever have a spice drawer that had just too many jars in it? Well, I got out my Italian seasoning and basil and, I just got some, I, I combined some jars. I, it's, you know, it's kitchen week. And so I'm making a little more room in my, in my spice drawer just by using up what I need to use up. And that's always a good thing. It's always a good thing to you to combine things and just, you know, clean things out. Anyway, folks, I think I'm going to go lay my head down for a little bit. Rest a spell, as my granny used to say. Just take a load off and enjoy the rest of the evening. My dinner's cooking, and it just feels so good to know what's for dinner and not have to think about it. That's why I'm keeping a, a log. I looked back, and we haven't had pasta in two months. So... Every couple of months, I can cook some pasta. So y'all keep Christina in your prayers. Her daughter and grandbaby are her, her daughter's giving birth, which is a good thing. Because prayers are amazing things. Amazing things. It's just powerful. So folks, I love you all. Be good, kind, and sweet. Be good to yourself by menu planning and having food in the house to cook for your family or the ingredients to cook for your family. It's easy. You put it together. You cook some onions, brown some hamburger meat, and some Italian sausage. Put it in your crock pot, and it's, it's a good thing knowing what's for dinner because that makes you feel good about yourself. That's being good to you. Be kind to others by putting a meal on the table. Nothing says I love you like dinner. And show the world the sweetness that comes from inside of you, which is the glory of God. Yeah. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow morning. It's plan and play day. So let's think about, let's think about our, our menus for the next week, 10 days. Oh, one other thing, announcements, announcements, announcements. Justin said that um, we have uh, the back to basics pack. That is $49.95 is ending next, next Monday. So you have one more week to get it at $49.95. So get them while you can. It's just the basics, y'all. It's just the basics. And I got to get my iPad back in here. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Yeah, let's do it. And... There's been some weird things happening. Like I could couldn't hardly get people in this morning in our video, and some other podcasters I was listening to were having the same thing doing lives.
So I don't know what's going on. And then constant contact messed up. And I couldn't work in constant contact. And it was it was down for a couple of hours. So y'all. Stay strong. Stay strong. And God's got us right here. And thank him for having us. Thank him for having us in the palms of his hand. I'll see you later. And if you're not a child of God, ask Jesus to come into your heart. Give your life to Jesus. And then find somebody to baptize you. I watched, I guess, 50 baptisms yesterday. Pastor Greg Locke, they have baptized 3,500 people in the last two years. What a glory, just glorious that is. 3,500 people. And they probably did 50 yesterday. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. So folks, y'all be good, kind, and sweet, and I will see you tomorrow. I love you all.